So the uh, Paladins 1.3 update is out on the PTR, or not, not PTR, PTS, uh, and it adds the new character, which is Koga, and basically his lore is he uh, used to work for Zin, and he uh, got kicked out for... Uh, yeah, he, he got kicked out because of some rumors or something, and uh, that's it. And he's gonna go kill Zin or something. It's it's I don't get it. I haven't really read much into it, but that's what I get. And um, uh, go, going straight to his abilities, he's uh, he's he has multiple uh, stances. So what that means is that he switches between a uh, uh, different moves depending on his uh, his assigned uh, set. Basically, uh, hitting your Q will change you between your claw set and your gun set. And uh, Strix has something like that too, where he switches between his pistol and his sniper rifle. Um, but uh, he has two SMGs for each hand, in, in normal stance I'm assuming. And he has about uh, 1300 DPS with that, so that's actually uh, average for us. For a uh, for a damage, it's uh, maybe a little low for a flank. He's a flank. Uh, so his right click is right click is I guess movement. It's it sounds like it's gonna be kind of like tracer, but I don't I'm not sure yet. I haven't seen it in game. This is increased jump height. It sounds like Pip's weightless. It sounds like he just sprints. I, I, I think that's it. Alright, uh, this changes between the different modes. And when he's in uh, melee mode, he has... Okay, he does 600 damage, so that's basically 1200 DPS. His right click becomes... Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a charge melee, so that means he's going to have a lot of burst damage. I think he's gonna oh, voice crack too. Uh, he's gonna have a lot of burst damage. He's uh, so in one second he can do 1200, and if you give him a second and a half, we'll do 1800, which is a lot. <clears throat> okay, passive hold space. Well, okay, so he can wall climb. He's the first character to be able to wall climb in the game out of the 38 that are in the game. And his ultimate is like a cyclone, like hurricane attack, where he just does damage to everyone around him. There's 3,000 total, so that's good for melting pretty much everything but tanks and uh, tanky supports. <coughs> his talents stores energy, okay. Skewers deal up to 400 skewer. Okay, alright, alright. So his right click when he's in uh, blade mode will do a thousand damage. In a certain circumstance, I'm not sure. Seems all energy you want. Oh, so you so if you have more energy, this will do a, uh, this will cause it to do a thousand damage instead of six hundred. It means his DPS is he's he's gonna be great at killing things like almost instantaneously. Uh oh. I need to see how much ammo he has, but this one's... It, it sounds like it'd be useful, but I don't think it's gonna be, like, meta. Ooh, that, that doesn't sound good. It doesn't consume energy, but it instead consumes 200 health per second. That sounds horrible. So, basically, you, you need a support up your ass in order to use that. So, I mean, that's... 200 health a second is... Uh, look, there's just 20 less than Genosis, and if you're getting cauterized, you're not gonna... Koga. That's not gonna be, uh... You can't really support that. I think this one and this one are gonna be meta. These two are trash. Uh, let's see what he has for cards. Let's just start with his uh, base cards. Uh, firing... Uh... Oh, that means he'll get double life rip, or he'll get um one and a half times life rip if you have life rip. 
10% energy. That's typical. Ooh, extra health. Let's see what that. Let's try that out. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, try it. Shadow step. And, um, well, that means he'll be, oh, I see that right now. I see it. I, I already see that one. I, I, I already see this. I already see this coming. No, I don't want that. That's kind of dumb. All right, get that up and, um, get this. Why not? And uh, the last one, just nothing too particularly amazing. Okay, let's see how we uh, see what he does. Oh, they changed the training room to be automatic. I still haven't fixed Victor popping up and moving like that. I mean, they completely disabled that when the they did the Curia. The Holy shit, my volume. The strength of each member. Yeah, you need to turn team. this down. Where is he? Just give me, uh, where's the one I thought was good? Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, my, all my settings are all wrong. I need to change my settings. FOV. <clears throat> Audio, that's way too high. Thank you very much. It actually might be too low now. <coughs> I have no idea why my voice is being so bad right now. This is not good. This is all default crap. Like it's actually shit. Okay, at least that's on. Okay. Yeah, that's fine for now. Oh wait, my controls seven, seven, like low sensitivity, very low. Those fire really fast. Well, they're very inaccurate. This DPS is kind of bad. Oh, I forgot to put his voice back on. Damn it! All right, I'll do that after. Just, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a lot of damage, but that's not, uh, really impressive. Okay, not, no, that range is impressive, but that's kind of ridiculous. Oh, yeah, didn't they rework Sky in this one, too? I gotta, I gotta check that out after, too. Uh, alright, let's... Alright, what does this right-click do again? Okay, so that's lame. Oh, you oh you you get that back fast. Yeah, th this one's gonna be meta because you're gonna be doing this shit all the time. Oh, okay, you can't you can't hold a direction and do it at the same time. You have to actually look where you want to go. Okay, all right. Uh, what's his F again? Agility. Just. Is that even different from the- okay. I have a feeling that's not finished yet. I have a feeling that this character's not finished yet. It's just a PTS for, for like, actual testing. Wall climb is pretty slow, but that's... There's nothing too wrong with that, actually. Um, does that look like from the outside? Yeah, that's not gonna change, but... Yeah, I mean, that's okay. He's really slow, though. Got um, Lesson nimble. Two. I might look better. Use every tool to your advantage. If you use space <laughs> to climb up, I go faster. Fuck up. No, it's still slow. No, it d doesn't appear it's affected by nimble. It's not infinite either, because I know that you should be able to go all the way up these. They're 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 solid. There. There's no barrier until you like get up there. So, right. Uh, let's see. 
This this takes energy to hold. Oh, this is uh, okay. Those are melee guns. All right. So that's like Zen. Then. Just right click. Okay, that's disorienting. This character's good. He might be too good. He's kind of. Okay, let's go back to the other mode. Yeah, he's got good damage output. So basically, his SMGs are your kind of ranged poke. Wait, how long are his swords? All right, they're kind of short. Yeah, jumping makes these useless. That doesn't seem very good. It's not so disorienting once you're used to it, but it feels like that uh, his, his right click wall in this mode should really uh, go into third person. Like, uh, I can probably simulate that by doing it at the right time. Just get the energy back. Let's get wild. So, something like that, maybe. The way it's less disorienting. Can I farm some energy real quick? Yeah, so basically, like. Yeah, so, something like that. Some live, some die. Except it would have higher field of vision, because the field of vision for third person is lower than uh, actual uh, ability third person. Because the uh, ability third person is your actual FOV, but, like, other third person is just, like, whatever. It's default, probably like 100. This doesn't do damage, right? Okay, no, that's, that's just invincibility. Um, these don't go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those don't go through. Um, okay, so that's all right. Let's check out the ultimate. Let's just go over here real quick. You're already dead. Double kill. That's a lot of damage. Actually, that would be really good with uh, Ceres. I would actually be really good with Saris. So long. Thanks. Here, real quick. You're already dead. The thing is, is that characters with mobility can get out of that so easily. So his ultimate's gonna be weak as hell. And there's no point using it on most tanks because they'll just hold for it, and then you'll be not killing anything. All right. Uh. Is there anything else? Yeah, his uh, other talents. Hmm. Not sure what this means. Back to basics. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I was right. He uses up all of the energy you have. And I can't shoot with this uh, to get more energy back. So that so that uh, energy one is probably going to be meta. By far, because that's probably the best one. Okay, so if you... As long as you do it before your first bar runs out, it seems to give you the whole thing. And you just kill them real quick. Just, just, okay, so the range is accurate to the uh, graphic. Just, just get them back to full health here. Let's, get Let's just wild. let this run out a little bit. Oh... Wait a minute. That doesn't sound right. Might be a little bugged. I don't see why it would do so much damage if there's almost no energy left. Let's just do it the last second. Yeah, so it's basically based on the bar and how full that bar is, but it will use all of them, I think, if you Let's check it out. Yeah. I, I I think it's kind of needs to be war reworked so that it has to take into account the, the whole bar and not just like half and below. Uh, uh, subsequent shots take no ammo. This one's this one will probably be, be meta, especially if you're a cheater because I mean look. It, it's, it's not taking any ammo for that. That's just ridiculous. 
Actually, I was wrong. This one may actually be pretty meta because this is because uh, the amount of shooting he does. It, it it just means he can keep constant damage output, which means he'll be a car ice machine. Especially to just like one tank or something. It's just constant damage output. When does this fall off? Okay, so it's half at like max distance. All right. Dragon Fang. This sounds horrible. Back to basics. Oh. Okay, but I want to see a doctor for that. Do I have life rip in this build, or am I wrong? I don't appear to have any life. Okay, no wait, no, no wait. I got to check my. I do have lifesteal in this for that stance. 50% lifesteal, he does 600 damage, it's 300 a hit, that's 600 per second. So you can sustain this, just as long as you're not getting cauterized. Which is not gonna happen, you're gonna get cauterized, cause that's like every flank's weakness, cause they have no health. Alright, uh, I'll see if Sky actually got that rework. I didn't check the patch notes. Uh, yeah, looking at it right now, it doesn't look like it. Uh, no, she did not get a rework, unless it's just like mechanic wise. Oh god, Sky feels like she plays so bad. Yeah, she needs a rework. She's one of the oldest characters in the game, and you can feel it like, just by how it. Just by how she shoots and moves, it, it, it doesn't feel good. Alrighty, uh... That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I guess I'm done with him. I think meta will be... I think this will be meta just because people are fucking dumb, but... I think these two will be the most popular. Uh, this one will definitely be for cheaters, because they'll get constant uh, ammo. Well, infinite ammo, basically. Uh, this one just seems the most utility. This one probably will be the most universally used. This one... It depends on how good it is. Let's get wild. I, I, I'm thinking that it'll be good very early game in the match, but it, it'll be bad once they have cauterized, because you can't sustain it without life rip or heals, and there's just really no point in being in that mode all the time when you can just, you know, do this and, and, and just shoot the whole time. So I think it's definitely going to be uh, Adrenaline Junkie and Master of Arms. I think idiots will go with this, and I think this one will be. a nuker build, because. stuff like that. I'm gonna get more energy real quick. Okay, you're gonna. I'm gonna go back. Okay, so let's try this. Some live, some die. Okay, so it, it's a it's like a solo nuker build, but the thing I don't like about it, that it it completely sucks up his energy if you don't use it right, and it's gonna suck up all his energy anyways. And his mobility isn't that great unless you put a lot of car uh, a lot of points into his uh, F here. So if you. Nah, I don't see this being viable. I, I see this being more viable than this. Uh, this These two will definitely be the most picked, most useful. Uh, this will probably be more like a high masters thing, or like just like a top like 5% player thing. Definitely this will be... Uh, this will be everywhere. Idiots at low rank will probably use this and completely fucking waste it. This is bad. This is... It's kind of pointless. This this is good for nuking, that's about it. 
this is completely kind of pointless in my honest opinion unless I'm, I'm gonna go back and look at his cards again but I think it's useless uh, adrenaline junkie this one and this one definitely because because if you can just keep the damage out you know just like look at that I mean I'm sure the metal one will be master of arms uh, depending on your rank because just constant shooting and there's see, there's no reason to buy deft hands you just go with anything else I, I don't know if it applies to shields or not there's no shield in the shooting range so we don't know that uh, okay so we, I guess it caught up to my items what the hell what a mess okay just clearing these because I don't want to look at them alright uh, so Okay, yeah, mounts. Uh, this is a... Cassie looks like Leon here. I don't like, what the hell? Yeah, Crimson Serpent. This is a new mount, which I can't test without... Well... Being in a game, and I don't really feel like playing right now. This is the battle... Oh, why is it so zoom? What is this? Whatever a death stamp is. Oh, that means that. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's gotta be a sun kiss Fernando skin in here. Let's see, they add it. They add it. Oh, there's no sun kiss Fernando? Come on, that, that would have been perfect. Ah. It's lame. Okay, is uh, It's worth noting. Let's just see if they changed Pip. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Same as always, same as usual. Uh, what was the other thing that's... I guess we'll go back to the battle pass real quick. Let's get 3D model. Just a spray. Mm, this is a really dumb skin. It makes it look like fucking Leon. It's gonna be a little bit confusing at first, probably, but she they, they move completely different, so maybe not. Problem is the hair and her face looks like potato with that skin, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Shadow Lord. Not a bad skin for Maldamba. I, I wish they would go back and remodel his um Maldamba. his his base snakes because they don't look very good. And and then you go into uh, where is it? Not that Wicker Man. Like these are modeled, and uh, on his default they're they're just flat. It's kind of lame. Uh, but maybe it's more realistic. Check the... Wait, did they change Grok? On... I'll look at the patch notes real quick. The patcher notes. Um, new map. Oh, cheap yeah, patch, who cares? Screen, cosmetic wheel. Uh, oh, you can use multiple sprays and emotes in game. Four and four, okay. Um, hmm. Making champions cheaper. Barrack and Grover are now 15,000, and Inara and Willow are now 30,000. Now look through menus after accepting a match. It only pulls you in after it's done. Ranked is being reset. 
Buck and Drogo's balances. Furio's getting nerfed. A couple bug fixes. Oops. General issues being fixed. Alrighty, so that seems about it. It's mostly just uh, mostly just this character and a bunch of bug fixes and some uh, general nerfs, particularly to Drogo's and his fusillade, which was pretty kind of broken back then. Or I mean, is until this comes out. Just give me a moment to get back in. Okay, Drogo. If you slide 25%. Okay, Reign of Terror is actually good now. I don't have my loadout, but. Yes, that's gonna be far more useful. Fuselade has been nerfed. That is much better now. If people buy blast shields, which since it does that. 163 times point. That's wrong. 163. 163 times. What is it? It's point two one. So it would be. 7 9. Yes, yeah, so if people buy blast shields, they will be back down to a little less than Drogo's as normal damage output. If you use your fire spit, you can get back up to that old fuselage kind of damage. I I think maybe a little bit more. This boost is still the same, this is still the same. Alrighty. Just got... Just some general nerfs. Alright. Just nerfs to, um... Nerfs to Fuselod. Go back here and I'm just gonna make a loadout for... Reign of Terror, real quick. I'm just trying to see what it um, see what it can do. Just gonna pump a bunch of points into stuff I don't necessarily think is gonna be useful. Just because I just care about that uh, Spitfire card. stack with each person you hit so I gotta hit just one at a time because that's the only really way I'm ever gonna be able to do anyways. Nice eight second cooldown and if I grab the chronos that will be come on. Grab the chronos that is a four second cooldown that's pretty nuts. If I hit multiple people, it's it's it's, it's an instant cooldown. This might be a little broken. They might have to change it to like two seconds, three seconds. Because if I hit all of these, I can just keep farming it over and over again. So it's basically just a punish for grouping up, which is smart. And, and, and it's a good thing they removed the damage bonus with this uh, card because it would be completely broken. when it's on cooldown, just do this again. That's in a row. Yeah. Double kill. This is gonna be a Critical little kill. broke. Because what people are just gonna do is do that and then just one tap and then they're gonna move on to the next person and then just one Double tap kill. and then they're gonna be moving on to the next one and just gonna go one tap and these people are gonna have to focus drill goes now. More, like even more than before, because well, uh, with Fusilade, he can only, you know, he only shoots so many times a second, but with this, 
Just, just keep pounding him out. Again, deft hands, especially, it's gonna be pretty much an instant ability if I don't miss it. Does deft hands affect this ability? No, it doesn't appear to affect the ability at all. See this being a little broke. Double kill. Triple kill. Hmm. Double kill. Yeah, he's just he's gonna be nuking people left and right now. Especially if they're grouped up like this. Grouped up like that, it's an instant cooldown. They just fucking mow through people. Yeah, that's gonna be nerfed. That's gonna be nerfed. And this is an extreme case if I do go find a single enemy over here. It's, it's still a four second cooldown, so even if you only use it at one at a time, you can still pound these out. It's kind of ridiculous. It's a little strong. A little strong.